Pearl Hart was a Canadian-born outlaw of the Old West. She committed one of the last known stagecoach robberies in the United States and gained fame because she was a female outlaw. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the new video. Hart was born Pearl Taylor in Canada in the town of Lindsay, Ontario. Her parents were religious and wealthy and they provided Pearl with the best education available. She enrolled in boarding school at the age of 16. It was during this time that she met an unfavorable man named Hart, and the two eloped. They had an on-again, off-again relationship that was very rocky, with some reports of abuse. Together they had two children, a boy and a girl, who they sent to live with Hart's mother in Ohio. In 1893, the two traveled to the Chicago World's Fair, where Hart worked as a carnival barker, and Pearl developed a fascination with the cowboy lifestyle. It was here again where Pearl left her husband behind and headed on a train for Trinidad, Colorado. She was looking for a new start, and she said of this time, I was only 22 years old. I was good looking, desperate, discouraged, and ready for anything that might come. She eventually ended up in Phoenix and worked odd jobs like singing and cooking. In 1898, Hart was living near the town of Mammoth, Arizona. Reports indicate that she was either working as a cook or as a prostitute near a local mine. Trying to raise money to visit her sick mother, she hooked up with a man named Joe Boot. They worked his old mining claim together, but recovered no gold. With no money coming in, the couple decided to rob a stagecoach that was traveling between Globe and Florence, Arizona. The robbery occurred on May 30th, 1899, at a watering point near Cane Springs Canyon. Hart cut her hair and disguised herself to look like a man. She carried a 38 and Boot had a 45. The stagecoach had not been robbed in several years and did not have an extra guard. They collected $430 from the robbery equivalent to $14,000 today. They attempted to flee, but were shortly caught up with by a posse led by Sheriff Truman of Pinnell County. The posse surprised the sleeping couple, and Boot surrendered quietly while Hart fought to avoid capture. Boot was locked up in Florence, and Hart was taken to Tucson. She was 28 years old. She quickly gained national fame as a female outlaw who was polite, but also daring and bold. She received a bobcat cub from a local fan and was even interviewed in Cosmopolitan magazine. The jail she was being held in was not equipped for female prisoners, so she was put in a special cell that happened to only be made out of plaster. She took advantage of the weak building materials and escaped on October 12, 1899. She was recaptured two weeks later near Deming, New Mexico. The couple were put on trial for the stagecoach robbery at the end of October, 1899. Hart made the excuse that she was simply trying to collect money to visit her sick mother, and the furious judge scolded the jurors when they found her not guilty. Following the acquittal, the pair was rearrested on the charge of tampering with U.S. mail. In their second trial, 
Boot received a sentence of 30 years, and Hart a sentence of five years. Boot and Hart were both sent off to Yuma Territorial Prison to serve their sentences. Boot became a prison trustee, and a year later used this position to make his escape. He was never seen again. Pearl enjoyed VIP status in prison, receiving a special cell with a mountain view and a small courtyard where she could entertain reporters and guests. The strange circumstances of Pearl's release from prison came in the form of a December 1902 pardon from Arizona Governor Alexander Brody. It's rumored that Pearl became pregnant while in prison and this might have had something to do with her pardon. Hart kept a low profile after being released from prison. She began picking up odd jobs again, even working briefly for Buffalo Bill's Wild West show. In 1904, she was running a tobacco store in Kansas City. It's been reported that she returned to Arizona. A 1940 census taker recorded her there, married to George Calvin Bywater. She passed away in 1955. Pearl was the only female stagecoach robber in Arizona history, earning her the name Lady Bandit or Bandit Queen. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments. And please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the new video.